and I am doing a Miss A haul today. So if you want to see what I got from Miss A, please stay tuned. retro pattern because it's got the dots and then the camo one don't have the dots um so this is what they look like on and i do get some fog but not as much as i been getting so that's kind of cool and I am getting new glasses soon I found a place where I could get them super cheap like they were six bucks plus you have to pay like like if you put tinting on them or something like that which I did because um, I need tinted glasses because I've got um, a white retina or horizon or whatever it is at the back of your eye um, and that's very rare and it also causes light um, not to process like it does in someone that has a darker one so I get headaches from a lot of light or like really a lot of any light um, I'm almost a vampire or <laughs> that's the way the uh, eye doctor kind of told me but I'll I'll be keeping the, the one I opened so that's all right I uh, tried it on but that's the retro pattern and this is a camouflage pattern um, and they'll be going in my mask drawer which I actually have now who would know we have masks a drawer just for a bunch of masks because we gotta wear masks all the time now but I do. Um, I've got this really pretty orange one that I could. I've got some a lot. It looks more um, peach or coral to me than orange. I don't know if it shows up in the camera that way, but it doesn't look like it is not a bright orange. So I do have a lot of summertime clothing that has an orange in it. So I thought that would be good for that. Um, this one's a black one and I am going to open this one because I'm going to make this a kitty cat mask um, because I want a kitty cat mask <sighs> and it has a vent <sighs> and that does kind of keep on the fogging part nope maybe if I wear it the other way let's see here I'm trying to figure out how to wear my glasses with the mask because <sighs> this eye is like a lot worse. I might have just torn my black one up. <laughs> now they, they pop back together. So you can take this little black piece out. <laughs> Put you a filter in there. That's how that works. <sighs> but it still fogs. Fogs really bad. So I'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Um, but I will be figuring out how to put a filter in that now. I know you can pop it out and filter it. Um, but that was the black mask. Um, I also got a navy blue one, which I thought could, you could pretty well wear with anything because it's like black. Um, a teal green one, or mint's what they call it, and a hot pink one. And this is actually is poking out of its wrapper a little bit, but, and a hot pink one which 
I probably will put something on the hot pink one. I've got a K over there. So I'll wipe it on this. Um, and then I got um, these pure sanitizing wipes from AOA Studios. There's 15 wipes in this. I got the mint scent and I got the lemon scent. My mom got the mint scent in the other haul, but she didn't get the lemon scent. So I got the lemon scent too. And then I got the 80% alcohol hand sanitizer spray. And that's all the COVID-19 type supply like things I got from Miss A. Um, I've never wore ear cuffs, but with my hairstyle, I think people would actually see them. So I'm going to try to wear these, these and see how I like them. Because Miss A does have a lot of ear cuff sets on the website now that I thought were cute. But I really like this set because it had a cross one in it. Um, so I got these um, in the silver and the gold. And it has these little earrings that you're supposed to wear with it. Um, just on that side. And then wear different earrings. Because that's a thing now. <laughs> is you wear different earrings on each side. So, um... But I'll probably just wear the cuffs with a set of earrings that match. Um, I'm not as bold as some people to wear different earrings on each side just yet. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm going to try to wearing these cuffs on my ear. And see if they aggravate me or I like them or I've just always kind of liked to see like this. The earrings on the topper part but I'm kind of chicken to actually get earrings in the cartilage part so I thought that would be a good alternative of permanently doing something I probably would not like to do or if I do it I wouldn't like it so um, I've been really liking studs and hoops but not really big hoops, just really, really nice, just really nice size hoops. Not great giant big ones, but the smaller ones. So I saw, and I do like the, like the gemstone, um, and ball studs. So, um, I saw this and it's in gold. I thought I'd got a silver one too, but I guess I didn't. But this is the gold. I don't have that much gold jewelry. So I got these using the gold. It's got the really nice hoops in different sizes. The balls in different sizes and in all different sizes of the, the rhinestones. Which I really liked. And, I, and that kind of stuff will go with any outfit kind of. Um, I also got these that are like pearlized balls. It's all different shades. And I thought these shades would go for any. And then you've got these rose gold ones I really like. So, and I believe it looks like actual pearls. So I really like those. Because I like the pearlized looking jewelry. Um, I would love to have some actual pearl jewelry, but... And I also got this. That's like the um, cross. That's on a pearl bracelet. And it's like a cross on a pearl bracelet. Which I, I want a pearl bracelet that looks that has like a cross on it, but I thought well, that was kind of nice. Um, so, I got that. And then I got... I was kind of on a pearl mermaid vibe, I guess. Because then I saw this little necklace. It's got like, like a magical Ariel. You remember the seashell Ariel had her voice in? And the little mermaid kind of reminds me of it. Um, a magical mermaid 
seashell necklace and it came with um, like diamond earrings as a set but I'll probably wear the pearls I got in that other set with it but I thought it was really neat looking and so I got it and that's all of my jewelry that I got from Miss A this time um, I also got these stickers um, which is like my, I always get something whimsical when I get something from Miss A. So this was my whimsical, um, the Corky Mermaid. And these are vinyl waterproof stickers. So you can put these on your water bottle, your cups, um, and personalize your cups with these stickers. That's one of the reasons I got them. Um, so I thought that was just adorable. And then I got one that says, Weird Girl in a really kind of old-fashioned, like, 80s heart. And then I got one that says, But Coffee First, that I thought would be cute on a coffee mug. So that was my whimsical little thing I bought because I just like whimsical things like that. Um, I'm just that kind of girl. Then... Um, I got another makeup bag. It's kind of whimsical too, so we'll put him in the whimsical section. I got me a unicorn uh, makeup bag, and it's got diamonds, unicorn horns, stars, and clouds all around the unicorn. And I thought that was just really cute. And I really do like these bags that are see-through. Where you can see what you put in them and I'm gonna take that little paper out back right now and they do kind of stand out a little bit so you do get like quite a bit of room in that little bag so I totally like that um and I'll probably be putting the next step I haul in that bag um so I got a few things that I've never tried as makeup. Um, and then I got a few things just because of the names. So the first thing I got that everybody seems to use, but I've never used any of it. And I just wanted to try it because everybody uses it in like makeup tutorials and stuff. And I've realized, um, that I like matte look um, and the, and everybody that does matte look stuff uses this and it is sitting spray or sitting powder it's not sitting spray it's sitting powder I did thought I got some sitting spray um, but I must have not have I thought I put it in a cart but I guess I didn't click it so if I do another Miss A haul which I want to <laughs> I'll probably get sitting spray as well but I'll try the sitting powder first so I got sitting powder um, I also don't have um, well I had some primer I got for a free sample but I like I've never used primer that's waterproof which this is and it's supposed to hydrate your face so I got this hydrating water spray. It's called Aqua. That is their AOA brand. And this is what it looks like. And it's like totally clear. It has a pretty good smell actually. It kind of smells like old school Aqua Velva a little bit. That's kind of cool. But I got this hydrating face primer because I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I like and what I don't like. Um, I also got this um, Starry Honey Gloss Orange Lip Gloss just because it just sounded good and I don't know if it smells orangey or not yes it smells just like oranges oh my goodness 
so it's got mineral oil fragrances and put I can't say it Pratillion jelly I can't say it my mouth doesn't even go around it but it's not like a lot of chem chemicals or nothing in it so that's kind of cool And then the other thing I got, everybody is going crazy over this next project at the Dollar Tree. This is not the same brand, but it does the same thing as the one at the Dollar Tree. And I never can find any of those things like that at the Dollar Tree, at my do local Dollar Tree. So I bought this because it's a dollar, same price, and it's supposed to do the same thing. So this is the Starry Sexy Lips. Lip Plumper Tint and Shine Sexy -er and Fuller Look. Let your lips super smooth and soft. So, and it's got like a flesh tone on there. So, I wonder if, if this is a flesh tone. No, it's clear. See, it's clear. Um, I'm trying to see if it has a scent. It is kind of glittery. It's not got a scent. So, this is number three. So, I'm going to try that out and see if it plumps your lips or what it does. I just got to realize getting the lip plumper at the Dollar Tree, so... I thought that would just be something to try because everyone else is. Yeah, I'm just jumping on the train with everyone else. So I'm going to put those in my new bag where I can get them out of the way. And then the last two makeup products other than makeup uh, like brushes and sponges and stuff like that. The last two actual makeup products I got was the matte liquid long lasting let me see is this says shade number eight it doesn't say an actual name on here but i'm trying trying to find like a lot of like plum because i call them plum um I don't really know what shade to call, but I got that purple one the last time I done a haul, and I really like that matte lipstick and that shade on my lips because you can see my lips are like a a plummy color. They're kind of a little bit pink, but not really. And I thought this kind of matches my actual shade just a bit. And I'm trying to open this where I could show you. Uh, but it's not wanting to come off. And I'm even going around where the little tabs are. You'd probably do better if I actually had some nails. Which I gotta work on growing out again. Because <laughs> it would help if they were grown out. Because then I can open a package. Almost there. There we go. So I got this in a matte color. And it's kind of pinky, but it kind of looks like a shade on my lips of this a little bit. So we're going to see what this looks like on. And the brush is tipped just a little bit this time. Hmm, that might be a little too pink for my liking, but it has like a berry scent though. I like that. Maybe if it dries, because sometimes when mattes dry, they're lighter when they're dry. I don't know, I might get used to that a little bit. Hmm, I don't know. Comment down below. Do you like this shade on me? 
It is drying now, though. Hmm. Might be too pink. But I, but in the bottle, it kind of looked like my lips, but I don't know. But I got that shade, and then I got this shade. Just because the name of this shit is Unicorn. That's the only reason I bought it. Because I usually don't like the uh, metallic colors. Because this is metallic. But when I saw... Because I was trying to find the uh, plum looking color I got last time. And I went through all their like archives of lip colors and stuff. Trying to find that. And... I couldn't find it. Does this say unicorn on it anywhere? Yeah, on the bottom. Okay. I didn't want to wrap the, take the wrapper off if it didn't have unicorn somewhere. Where, and then I'm going to swatch this on my arm. And it also has the little burnt tip. And this is what unicorn looks like um it's kind of pretty actually and then this is number eight in the long lasting sierra matte lips wet lips and then this is the aco studios wonder middle lips Wet Lip Myth and Unicorn. So that's the Unicorn. And this is this one. Um, now, on to like sponges and like, what is this? It's, it spills in. It's like sponges still. Okay, so. I've seen a lot of people review this sponge and say this is like getting one of the top dollar sponges for a dollar. This is the Wonder Blender High Depth Makeup Sponge. It is latex free. And I got it in the um, teardrop black. So, so I got this blender just to try it out. Um, I'm going to try to open it out of the package where you can see exactly what it looks like, but I know that seemed to be one to open it. Okay, that's the way. You open it, you don't have to try to Okay. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. It's very spongy, so that's kind of good. And it has like a velvet feeling, so that's kind of cool. It's definitely better quality than the one you get at the Dollar Tree. And they did have a whole, like, like it said, 24 bag of sponges that I thought about getting that was a dollar. I might get them next time just to see what the deal is. Um, I've been looking for the, uh, E, oh, that's the sponge and the makeup uh, on wash cloths. Could not find them, but I saw this on there that's in their renewal Espelian sponge. Um, so, this is like the one that everyone is going crazy over at the Dollar Tree. That's the name brand. So I'm going to give this a try and see if it works. And I don't know why. I just went into a black and gold theme with any makeup things. But I have a choice on what color I get. So. And then I found this. Um, which actually had a fashion magazine label on it saying they recommend it. I forgot what fashion magazine it was. Um, but it was like one of those big ones. 
So this is the Wonder Gel. And this is a gel sponge that is a blender. Ooh, that's kind of smooth. I could see where that would be a good thing to apply, like foundation or something like that with. So I'm going to give this a try as well. I don't really use foundation though, so I don't know why. I think I need blenders. But anyway, and then the piece of resistance that I got this time. Everyone is going crazy over the, like, unicorn horn makeup brushes that everyone's finding at the Dollar Tree. I don't ever find anything like that. So, I saw these, and these actually are kind of prettier than the ones that everybody's getting at the Dollar Tree anyway, because they're in rose gold. Um, and... I don't have a matching set of brushes, um, so I thought I can get a matching set of brushes for $4, so let's do this. Um, so this is the angle brush. Um, I think most people use this for like the cheeks, um, so I got this one. For that, um, I got this contouring brush, and these all say professional on them, so that's another brush. But this is for like contouring. I got this bronzer brush that I don't even use bronzer, but. And then I got the eye brush set you get three for a dollar um so at the dollar tree you would be paying a dollar a piece i got three of them for a dollar so this is for your eye makeup so i thought this was just a really pretty set and i'm just paid four dollars for it let me do it this way i thought this was a really pretty set and so I paid $4 for it. Um, did I really need it? Probably not. Hey. So, that was my Miss A haul. If you like this kind of haul, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you made it all the way down to the end of the video here, please do give me a big old subscribe and turn that big red button gray and become a kitten today because we love to see kittens in the kitten fam and i will see you all in the next video please be kind to one another enjoy your day don't just enjoy your day and remember to be extra careful out there in this world today i will see you later love you all very very much Bye bye